Hello Annie, uh, today's a test of your instructional ability. I'd like you to instruct me today on moving off and making normal stops. I had a lesson last week with another instructor who can't make it today, so I am familiar with the controls of this vehicle. I did go to start the vehicle up last week. I'm going to direct you to a suitable location. On the way to the location, I'd like you to demonstrate some steering for me. You might like a moment to think about that. We'll start whenever you're ready. Hi Ray, I'm Annie. Hi Annie. I'm going to be a driving instructor for today. Unfortunately the instructor can't make it. But he has left me a message to have a look at the moving off and stopping. Right, okay. okay. Can you tell me what you did in your last lesson? I did a controls lesson um, and I did start the car up. Did you um, actually get to set the gas and find a bite? I had one go of doing that. So what I'm going to do in a moment, I'm going to drive to a more suitable location. On the way, I'm going to give a little bit of a demonstration drive. I want you to watch where I'm holding my hands on the steering wheel, just like you did for your controls lesson, yeah, right. with the other instructor. And I want you to watch the steering, okay? Okay. Because I'll be talking you through that um, on the way to that location. Okay. Have you got any questions so far? Don't think so. No. Okay. So what we'd like to do is we're going to put our seat belts on. Uh, also, can you just adjust your head restraint for me? All oh, right. Is it a bit low? It is a bit low. Yes. Can you remember from your controls lesson where it needed to be? Oh, in the centre of the head. Yeah, that's it. That's much, much better. Okay. And, and why does it need to be there? Oh, it's there to prevent whiplash of us involved in an accident. Good, well done. So if you'd like to put your seatbelt now on, Ray, and we'll drive to a more suitable location. So I'm going to do my safety check, it's my cockpit door before I move off, and I'm yeah. going to start the engine. Now, you said to me with your other instructor last week, you've got to set the gas and find a bike. Okay. So what I want you to do is actually tell me when I've actually got my bite on this car. All yeah? oh, right, okay. Right. So I'm going to pop it into the appropriate gear, first gear. Yes. I'm going to set a little bit of gas, about a pound of coins with. Now I'm going to slowly bring the clutch up and I just want you to tell me when I've got the bite. Now, I can feel the car want to move now. Good, well done. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the six point checks, the um, blind spots and the mirrors before I move off. Now also, I want you to pay particular attention to the steering now, yeah? I'm going to move out to the right a little bit, yeah? Yes. And I want you to actually tell me when to straighten the car up, when to take that steering off. Now I am going to have to put a little bit more steering on because we've got the parked car in front of us. Right, okay. Alright, so if you watch the steering when I move off, okay? I'm not going to put a signal on because nobody's going to benefit from it. Right, so just watch the steering, right? I'm going to take it a little bit slower. And you tell me when you think I need to straighten the car up. Now. Good, well done. Otherwise, you'd have hit the blue one. Well done, okay. Now I'm going to put my hands at the quarter two because I feel comfortable there. Yeah. I'm looking where I want this car to go. And the road will turn left. Okay. Turn left at the end again. of the road, I'm going to turn left. So check me interior mirror, left door, my indicator going on. I'm slightly braking gently now. The clutch is going to the floor because I'm coming to a stop and slipping it in first gear and putting my indicator back on. And you can take okay. the first on the left at the end and then the first right. Okay. Looking right, looking left. It's safe to go. So I'm Just watch the steering again, right? Pulling down with that left hand now. Pulling down with the right hand now. Pushing up with the left again. Interior left door. Indicator going down. Braking clutch down. Gently stopping. Applying the handbrake because of the car coming to the right. Looking to the right. Looking to the left. Safe to emerge. I'm going to emerge. Watch the steering again, right? That's it. All done. So I'm going to right. take the next road on the right. So it's interior mirror. Right down. I'm going to bring the speed down with the foot brake. Indicator going on. Again, watch the steering, right? Pulling down with the right. Pushing up with the left. Now feed it back. Yeah, that's right, I'm feeding it back. Well done. If once you've gone around the bend somewhere and if you can pull in full, that's the road that I'd like to do the move off and stop and exercise. Okay. So when we come around the bend, Ray, I'm gonna pull up somewhere safe, legal and convenient on the left. I'm gonna take it a little bit slower than I normally would do, okay? So I'm checking my interior mirror, left door mirror. Nobody's gonna benefit a signal because there's nobody about. Again, just watch the steering. I'm gonna slip it into first gear so I can take it a little bit slower. So watch the arm left hand and you tell me when I need to straighten this car up again near the curb. About now. Okay, about now, good. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is clutch is going down, braking gently. Braking gently now, freezing my feet, handbrake on, into neutral, and relaxing my feet. Right, okay. And then I'm going to switch the engine off. Okay? Yes. So in a moment, we're going to swap seats. Have you got any questions about, any questions on the way to the, for the location? Uh, I don't think so. I think on the, the principle of turning the wheel, but uh, I suppose it's just a bit of practice. That's right. And that's what we're going to do now. Okay. okay. So if we'd like to swap seats, 
Just before we do that, just have a little bit of a recap on um, the controls lesson. So can you remember how to say, take your seatbelt off safely? Oh yes, hold on to the belt and press okay. the button. Good, and why do you do that? Uh, to stop it from flying up, hitting me in the face. Good. Or the window. Well done. And as just before you get out of the car, where are you going to check to see if it's safe? Oh, I need to look over my left shoulder. Okay, and why do you need to do that? Uh, make sure there's no pedestrians walking past. Good, well done. And which part of the vehicle are you going to wait for me, at the back or the front? Uh, the rear of the vehicle. Good. Okay, and why are you doing that? Uh, because I can see traffic come towards me better than, the, than equally they can see me as well. Okay, so if you'd like to get out of the car doing those checks and wait for me at the back of the vehicle, I'll meet okay. you there. Okay then, Ray, where are you going to have a look to see if it's safe to get in the car? Uh, up that side of the road and down there, make sure there's no one coming. Okay, is it safe? Yes. Okay, now I'll open the door for you. And make sure you get yourself comfortable, but don't touch anything right. until I get in the car, so I want to see if you do it correctly. Okay. Okay. Okay then, Ray. You sat comfortable? Yes, thank you, yes. Have you set the seat up and the mirrors for yourself? No, you said not to touch anything. Okay, so, so if you'd like to do that and let me have a look at how you do that. Yeah, the, the seat's fine, I can reach the pedals okay. Okay. Yep. Um, what about the mirrors? Mirrors, uh, I need to do that one. Okay. That's and what it. can you see out of there? I can see all of the rear window now and then the little bit of my face in the corner of the win uh, mirror here. Right, okay. Uh, the door mirrors, that one's okay, I can see down the side of the car mm -hmm. uh, and the pavement and this one though um, needs to be adjusted, I need to bring that one in, look All a right. bit. If you just pop the key in Ray, we need the, the electric oh. windows aren't they? Yes, so the key's there, I remember how to do that. Good. And then just bring the mirror in now. Oh, that's better. There you go, just, if you just pop the engine back off. Yes, okay. again I can see all down the side of the car. and. A little bit of skyline, most of the road. Good, sounds good. Um, okay. Control, handbrake. And my seat, shall I put my seatbelt on? No, you don't need your seatbelt just yet. I'm going to give you um, a short brief now, okay, right. on the moving off and stopping. Okay, sounds right. good. Yeah. So I'm going to talk about stopping first. Right. All right. So the reason that I'm going to talk about stopping first is why do you think the reason is? I'm not sure. Okay, so the reason is that um, the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to move off, aren't we? Right. Yeah, so that would be fresh in your mind, the moving off. Right. Yeah. And again, I'll talk through the stopping with you. All right. So the objective of today's lesson, yeah, for this stopping exercise, is for you to be able to um, assess a safe, legal and convenient place. Yeah. For stopping, you, yeah. yeah. Yeah, for stopping, using the MSPSL, that's right. the mirror signal position speed and look on the approach and to be able to come to a control stop nicely parallel to the curb. Right, okay. All right, okay. So we're going to talk about the safe, legal and convenient place, yeah? So do you think we're safe and legal here, where we are? Yes, okay, yes. good. And convenient? Yes, I would have thought so, otherwise you wouldn't have asked me to park here. So what do you think I mean by legal? Um, I can't park on double yellow lines. Uh, and I can't park on zigzags at the pedestrian crossing because uh, that would obscure everyone's view as they approach it. And then there's other things as well that you can't park on, then you find further in the highway code. Right, okay, yeah? yes. So what do you think I mean by safe? Um, I wouldn't park uh, on a busy road opposite other traffic because that would make it difficult for other people to get past. Um, what about if there's any children playing along or...? Oh, I can see here there's people playing in the park, so if they were playing on the road, I think I'd drive a bit further past them or something. Definitely. What about convenient? What do you think I mean by convenient? Oh, uh, I couldn't park across someone's driveway across the house, otherwise they won't be able to get in and out of the drive. What yeah. about if it was a quite a narrow road and you parked opposite another car? What do you think? Maybe that wouldn't be well, convenient to the other road users, would it? No, it would make it difficult for them maybe to get, get up past me. That's right. Okay. So. The first thing I did when I pulled up here on the left, can you remember what mirrors I checked? No, I remember you saying uh, checking the mirrors. Okay, it doesn't matter if you can't. So I checked the interior and the left door mirror. Right. Why do you think I checked that left door mirror? 
uh, to see if there's any cyclists or something like that coming up on the side of you before you move into the curb. Good, well done, yeah. So I always link these mirrors up in pairs. So it's interior first, then whichever way direction that I'm going. So I check the left door mirror for any cyclists or, and just to check a little glance where the pavement was as well. Right, okay. Right. Now, can you remember whether I put a signal on or not? No, because you said there was no one to benefit from it. Good, well done. So we're only going to indicate if somebody's going to benefit from it. Right. Okay. Now, then we're going to talk about our position. Now, I came in from our normal road position, which is about a metre from the kerb. Yeah? Right. Or three feet. And I started to turn the steering wheel to the left. Now, I even asked you to watch that steering, didn't I? Yes. Yeah, so there wasn't much steering on at all to come to that kerb. Right. Yeah. So... We want to begin nicely parallel with the kerb. Now we're only going to do this manoeuvre in first gear for the first time. Right. Okay. So we don't have to worry about the speed too much. Yeah, because we're going to take it nice and steady. And because we're in first gear, we're going to put the clutch down first, shortly followed by a little bit of gentle braking. Right. Now the reason that we're going to put the clutch down first is because if because it's your first go and you may be a little bit too heavy on the foot brake, we could come to we could stall the car. Right, okay. So that's the reason we're going to put it in, use the first gear, put the clutch down first. Okay. Okay. Then what we need to be doing is looking and looking all around, yeah? Right. Just to gather information to see if there's any, you know, children going to be running out in front of us or anything like that. Yes. Yeah? Then we're going to freeze our feet. Now, what do you think I mean by freezing the feet? Uh, don't move them at all. Good, yeah. So freezing the feet, keeping them still. Then we're going to apply the handbrake, then into neutral. That's the time to cancel the indicator if we've used one. Yes. Yeah. And we can relax our feet and breathe again. Right, okay. Okay, so the procedure for that will be mirror, signal, position, speed, and look. Got it. Any questions? No, not at the moment, no. Good, okay. So we're just going to talk about the moving off now. All right. So the objective for this lesson is for you to be able to move off safely. Yes. Again, using the MSPSL. Right. Yeah, and taking into account due regard for any of the road users for their safety as well. Okay. Yeah, all right. So, we're going to set the gas and we're going to find the bite. Right. Yeah, you did that last week with your other instructor and you also told me when I had the bite before I moved off, before yeah. we came to this location. Yeah. And we're going to set off, what's our setting off gear? Can you remember from your controls lesson last week? Uh, first gear. First gear, yeah. Now, we're going to think about before we set off, can you remember what I did before I set off? Where I checked? Um, you checked all around. I did, I checked from the, what I call the mirrors and blind spot, isn't it? Okay, so I checked from the left. Did you go through the blind spots with your instructor last week? No, no. Okay, so blind spots, what do you think blind spots are? It sounds like something I can't see. That's right, so the blind spots are the areas that you can't see in your mirror. Now we do have a little blind spot mirror on this mirror here, right. but even with that mirror there, we still can't see um, in that blind spot without looking over our left shoulder. Right, okay. Okay, so if we glance over the left shoulder now, okay, yes. can you see um, in your left door mirror, can you see... Um, I can't see the telegraph pole. That's, I'm just about to mention the telegraph pole, yes. yeah. So if we're not looking over our left shoulder, that could be a pedestrian right. or a child playing or anything like that. Okay. Yeah. So that's one blind spot there. The second where we're going to look is actually in the left door mirror. Right. Yeah. Third place we're going to look is out the windscreen, just to check up the road. Yes. Fourth, interior mirror. Yes, yeah, see if anything's come behind me. Yeah, good. Right, uh, sorry, the uh, fifth is the right door mirror, yeah, to yes. see if there's any vehicles coming up. And the sixth is the right blind spot. So if you just glance over your right shoulder now, Ray, right over it, right yeah. over that blind spot, yeah. Can yes. you see that junction we've got there? Oh, yes, yes, yeah? yes. And I bet you can't see it in the right door mirror. No, no, no I can't. So if you hadn't looked over that right shoulder, there could have been a car emerging from there. Yes. Okay, okay, so it's very, very important. So that's the six point check. As your vision's coming forward, the handbrake's going off, yes. a little bit more gas, clutch coming up a little bit further. Okay. Yeah. That's the time to put the indicator on if we need it. Right. Okay. Then we've got to think about the position. Can you remember where the normal road position was? Um, about a metre away from the kerb. Good, well done. Yeah. So we need to steer the the, the car to the right a little bit. Yes. Now, as you can see, we don't need to put as much steering on as I did because we haven't got anything parked in front of us. Right. Yeah. And then we're looking down the road, we're looking where this car wants to go. Okay. Okay, because our hands will follow our eyes. Yeah. Right. As we're on the move, we're going to check all the mirrors. So, why do you think we're going to check all the mirrors? I see if anyone's come up behind me. Yep, to gather information that's on this new road. Right. Okay. So, the procedure for that is mirror. Good. Signal. Yep. 
position, yeah. uh, the speed, good, and the looking. Well done. Have you got any questions? Um, you said to signal if I need one, and, and not yeah. to if I don't, but I'm not okay. too sure whether I need it or not. So if there's any any other vehicle coming, any approaching from um, up the road yes. or behind, that's when we're going to put the signal on. Right. Okay. Um, any pedestrians about, we'll put the signal on then. But don't worry about it, I will inform you when to put the signal on for the first time. All right, that sounds good. Okay then, Ray, let's go give it a go. Right, good, yeah. So in a moment, we're going to start the engine, but just before we do, I'm just going to tell you where to stop. So just after the telegraph pole there on the left, about 80 yards down the road. Right, okay. Okay, that's where I want you to stop, but I will be telling you anyway. All right. Okay, so we're going to start the engine. Okay, and we're going to um, put the clutch down into first gear. Now before we move off, I'm just going to get you to set the gas and find the bite. Okay. Okay. Even though you, you recognise it when you were sat in the passenger seat, I want you to do it in the driver's seat. Okay. Right. So about pound coins width on the gas pedal with your right foot. Just ease off that gas slightly, just a little less pressure. About there, brilliant. Okay. Now slowly start to bring the left foot up and you tell me when you've got the bite. Now, Good. Feel like I want to move. Good, so just pop your left foot down to the floor again. Good, so that was the bite, yeah? So yes. you've shown me that you've got the bite. Okay, so when you're ready again, let's bring that clutch up to the bite. Yes. Good, well done. So now we're gonna check from the left. So left shoulder first, right over the left shoulder. Yes. Left in. That mirror, yeah, yeah. yeah. All the way around, interior mirror, right door mirror, right over that blind spot on the right shoulder, right over there, Ray, go on, right over, that's it, well done. Yeah, yeah. Left hand on the handbrake, ready? Okay, handbrake going off, nobody's going to benefit a signal, so we've got the signal. Okay. A little bit more gas, Ray, clutch up a tiny bit more. Right, turn to the right a slight bit, and we'll clutch all the way to the top now. Now straighten the car up, looking where you want this car to go. Well done, okay? okay. Come to the left just slightly, Ray. That's it, keeping that wheel straight now. Move your foot right off that clutch now. All the and way off, yeah, yeah. all the way off now, good. And we're going to pull up on the left now, so it's interior mirror, left door mirror. We're not going to put a signal on because nobody's going to benefit. So you're going to pop your clutch down now. Yeah, start to come in. Now straighten your wheel up now. Good, and gently brake now, just gently. So freeze your feet there, eh? Handbrake on. Neutral. Relax your feet and breathe again. So if you'd just like to turn the engine off for me. So that was really quite good for your first go. Right, thanks. Yeah? thanks. All right, it was really, really good. Um, what we did though, when you did, when you pulled up on the left here, there was a little bit too much pressure on the foot brake. Right. Did you feel us lurching forward? Just a bit, yes. Yeah, just a little bit. So what happened there was, because of that pressure was on the foot brake, all the weight came to the front, travelled to the front. Right. So what we need to be doing is putting a little less pressure on the foot brake. Okay. So just before we come to a stop, because we weren't going that fast, at all was we no no so just before we come to a stop it's light pressure at first then a slight bit firmer but just before we reach that stop we're just going to release the pressure off the foot brake okay. yeah and then rest your foot back on that foot brake there should be hardly any pressure whatsoever on the on the foot brake when you come to a stop okay yes so we'll give that a go again all right <laughs> 